Hi, my name is Maya Hayes and I am a graduate assistant and personal trainer for the Georgia State Recreation Center. I'm also a certified bar instructor and today I'll be showing you a bar lunge sequence. So this sequence is great for building muscle endurance in the muscles of the lower body and it's also awesome for working on balance and hip stability. All right, great thing is you need zero equipment for today's workout. The only thing you'll need is just a surface to hold on to for support and you want the surface to be around hip height. All right, and that's it. So let's go ahead and get started. The lunge is the foundational movement for today's sequence, and there's a couple things to keep in mind as you perform your lunges. So something to be mindful of is to maintain proper alignment of your forward legs, knees, ankle, and toe during the sequence. So what I mean by this is you want to make sure at any point during the sequence that your knees and toes are always pointing forward. So this maintains proper alignment of both the knees and the ankles. And you want to focus as you go back into your lunge on keeping your weight in your hips. So your knee should never really press forward here because the majority of your weight should be pressed into your hips. So these principles remain true no matter the depth of your lunge. So no matter how high or low you are in your lunge, you want to still be maintaining these principles. So we'll begin our sequence by coming into some reverse lunges. So we'll start by taking our left leg and we're gonna extend our left leg back behind us as we drop our hips down, maintaining the principles mentioned before. So keeping our knees and our toes of our right leg or our front leg pointed forward as we step back. And again, as we step back, the weight is coming into the hips and then we're lifting back to standing. So you can modify this by just stepping back and not lowering the hips as you step back. So this kind of gets you used to the movement and makes it a little bit easier if it's too difficult to do the reverse lunge. So on our very last reverse lunge, we're going to hold our lunge position and we're going to set up for stationary lunges. So all we're going to do with our stationary lunges is we're going to lift and lower into our lunge versus stepping back into it. So you're just lifting and lowering, keeping your same principles as mentioned before. So with your stationary lunges, try to focus on keeping your torso stacked right over your hips. And you can always modify this by not coming quite as low in your stationary lunge. On our very last stationary lunge, we're going to move into our curtsy transitions. So you're going to hold that lunge position, and while holding that lunge position, you're going to cross your back leg over into a diagonal angle. So this transitions the back leg into what's called a curtsy. So for your curtsies, try to focus on keeping your weight continuously pushed back into your hips. So while still maintaining that lunge position, we're going to transition next into our pulses. So our pulse, we're going to maintain that low lunge position and we're just going to lower and lift a couple of inches. So these should be very slow, controlled movements. So you can stay pretty high in your lunge to make these pulses easier. Or if you want to make the pulses more challenging, you can actually drop your back knee down and then lift up just a couple of inches off the floor and do your lunge pulses from just a couple of inches from the floor. Whichever variation you choose, you just want to make sure to go very slow and controlled. Our very last movement is a stationary hold. So you're just going to hold the low part of your lunge here and you can float your hands to make it a little bit more challenging or you can continue to hold on for support. So that covers the entire lunge sequence, but just to recap, you'll do 10 repetitions of reverse lunges, moving into 10 repetitions of stationary lunges, followed by 10 repetitions of your curtsy transitions, which will move into 10 repetitions of pulses, and then you'll finish with that 10 count stationary low hold. Then you'll repeat everything on the opposite side. So just remember that you can modify these movements by reducing your depth. So that'll make the movement easier. Or if you choose to make it more challenging, you can increase your depth of your lunge or you can increase the reps or you can do multiple sets as well. All right, that concludes today's bar sequence. I hope you liked it. And keep in mind that you have modifications available if you need to take modifications throughout the sequence. Then also feel free to take breaks whenever you feel it's needed. All right, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.